Welcome to another how to tips and tricks on using Skype and getting the best out of Skype. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how to make a conference call so that you could add more than one person to the call. And just to sort of recap on that, um, if I was going to ring myself and add other people to the call, I would click on the drop down arrow and then click here and then choose the people I want to add to the conference call. Now, that's a very useful tip. But what happens if you have a group of people that you regularly have a conference call in? Do you want to have to go through that procedure of dragging them back into a call each time? Or is there a more automated approach to this? And um, there actually is a more automated approach and it's creating a group. And so let's go through the steps in creating a group. Now you can see I've logged into my Skype account, my training account, and I have the same few users sitting here. So we will use these people to create the sort of dummy group. Now the group will act a bit like an additional contact, but instead of it being a single person, it will be a group of people. So we go up to here where you see the little icon which looks like three people, and that's the little group icon. So we click on that, and again, it opens up a spot that you can drag the members of this group into. So if I go myself, if I go this one, and if I go that one, I've now created a group. Now I need to sort of save that group, give it a name, all that sort of stuff. So if I say save group in contacts, I can then give it a name and I could put Daryl's test group. Okay, clicking okay. And there you have it. See, you've got Daryl's test group down there. If I click back on here, there is just my single uh, contact. But if I click on down here, there is the group. Now that group is now saved. Every time I reboot Skype, that group will be, um, can be accessed and I can, in calling it, all I do is click video call if I want to um, make it a group video call. And remember that Skype now allows you to make free video calls to groups. In the past, doing conferencing or group calling via video, you had to have a subscription. That's no longer the case. Now you can also, or you can do a group call, which is basically an audio call. So that's really it. And you can save and you could add a person. So your group doesn't have to be static. If I had someone else that was in my contact list and I wanted to add them to the group, I can then add more people to the group. So the group could grow over time. I think it can have about eight or nine members uh, in the group. I'm just not exactly sure on the final numbers. You can send a file to the group. Um, you can send other contact details to the group and you can share your computer screen to the group. And the other interesting thing, you can send a message to the group. So instead of having to send messages to individual people, you can send it to the group as a whole, which is really good. So that means it saves you the time of having to drag people into a conference call, perhaps missing someone in your list and then having to re-add them. Um, if you're doing training where you've got a group of students and you think they are, they are going to be the same group every time, just create a group name the group something that's familiar to you and it saves it here just as if it was another contact. So that's really a really good way of doing it and it automates the process. And then at the end, if you um, don't want this group anymore, you can remove from your contacts. It will remove the group, but it will not um, remove 
as you see there, your contacts. You don't want your contacts to go, you may want the group to go. So it's as simple as that. So that's really it. So it just makes using Skype a little bit more effective, particularly if you're in a training situation or you're running a business and you want to be able to contact a group of staff. It just saves you fiddling around with keystrokes. So hopefully you found that useful. Remember, if you popped in and found this via my website, please give it a um, a like and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel. And I hope that you'll come back and see my next video.